Hello beautifuls! Today we will be reviewing the entire Fenty Skin line, so if you would like to see a review as well as me trying on these products, just keep watching. If you find that you are enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe and like the video to see more content like this in the future. I purchased the Fenty Skin line the second that it came out, and that was back in the summer, and it is now winter, so I have had plenty of months to test this product and come out with my final review. I am happy that I waited this long to create a review because my opinions of this product have changed. I had done a first impressions video as soon as I got the products and I said in that video I just wanted to try this on. I'm not a complete supporter of first impression videos especially when it comes to skincare because you don't get a fair testament of how the products work so I promise that I will be back to give you guys a full review of the Fenty Skin line. So here it is. So I first want to start off by saying what type of skin I have. I have normal skin meaning in the winter time it will get oily because of the seasonal changes and in the summertime it will get dry. I actually said that the wrong way. In the winter time it will get dry and in the summertime it will get oily. I'm not sure if I should list the specifications of these products. I'm kind of torn right now on how to construct my reviews so if you could let me know down in the comments do you like it when people list out all the specifications of the products or do you prefer us to just jump right into the review. For the sake of this video I'm going to list out the specifications of each product and then I'm going to just jump into my review. The entire Fenty Skin line can be purchased on the website for $75. This is called the Fenty Skin Starters Bundle. She recently came out with a nighttime moisturizer and has a newer bundle called the All For One 4-Piece AM and PM Bundle. That retails for $112. All of these products are designed to work better together. They brighten the skin, tighten pores, and remove dark spots while also hydrating the skin and protecting it. All of these products are cruelty-free, vegan, oil-free, and meant for all skin types and all of the packaging is earth conscious using less waste. This is the Total Remove It All Cleanser, a cherry and coconut fragranced concoction that retails for $25. It's made with antioxidant rich Barbados cherries, ginkgo biloba, green tea, and fig. It claims to remove dirt, oil, and long wear makeup without stripping or drying the skin. The next product is the Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. Yes, it's a toner and serum in one. This retails for $28 and claims to improve the look of dark spots. This product is loaded with different ingredients such as niacinamide, Barbados cherries, Australian lemon myrtle, witch hazel, Japanese raisin tree, cactus flower, green tea, and fig. It claims to brighten and smooth the skin while controlling shine, all while adding hydration for smooth, plump, and replenished skin. The last product is the Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer with SPF 30 Sunscreen. It retails for $35, making it the pricier one of all. It contains calamari melon, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and aloe. Again, it's a multi-purpose item. It claims to be lightweight, oil-free, and invisible on the skin. It's also makeup friendly with no pilling or flashback. The unique thing about this is that it's also refillable. Now, I just want to quickly jump into a short little recap on what I think of the overall brand. I first want to say that I think these products are more catered to those who suffer with dry skin and maybe normal skin, and this is my reason why. I started using this during the summertime, and the summertime is when my skin gets oily. It didn't make my skin more oily, it just kind of kept it the same. If you are dealing with oily skin, most of the time you want to make your skin feel more dry. And with the Fenty Skin line, it's just not going to give it to you. Luckily, with the Fenty Skin line, it doesn't make you more oily, it just keeps you the same. As soon as winter started to approach, I thought that my skin was going to transition back into dry skin. However, my skin never did that, it just stayed oily for months and months and months. I was like, hmm, you know, it's already winter time, why is my skin still oily? And then it just hit me that I'm using an entirely new skincare. To keep it short and sweet, for me, it's not my cup of tea. It does make your skin look dewy, it does make your skin look glowy, it does clear up your skin. So those are three pluses. If you are suffering with dry skin and you want to add some dewiness into it, or if you just like the dewiness and you can tolerate a little bit of oiliness on your skin. If you like that glow, if you want to look a, a little bit tanner, and if you want your skin to clear up a little bit, if you want all of those things in a skincare, and I mean all of them because you're going to get all of them, then this 
is definitely the skincare brand for you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and talk about each individual product, but I'm also going to first start off with talking about the packaging. I was a huge fan of the packaging in the beginning. I think it's something that really sold me. However, this took me probably like two months to finally realize, especially with the cleanser, there are some downsides to the packaging. As you can see, my cleanser looks a little funky right now, and that's because I have to bend it in order to nicely get the product out. I loved the idea of the cap. It's one of the most innovative uh, applicators I've seen for a cleanser. However, one thing that bothers me, when you close the cap, a little bit of tiny bit of it comes out. And I know that doesn't sound like a huge deal to a lot of people, but I'm just thinking that the reason why she created this cap was to make it convenient, to make it quick. But because it, it a little bit comes out of the cap when you're closing it, it's just, it's an extra step. And it's a little bit annoying if you just close the cap, you're gonna set it down like this, and so the cleanser is going to get on your countertop. When you're using something every single day, night and day, it can honestly become a little bit bothersome. For other cleansers, you just flip the cap, squeeze it out, close the cap back up. So I guess ordinary cleansers are a little bit more convenient than this one. Another con about this packaging, it's kind of like a, a toothpaste. And you know when you have toothpaste, and you gotta kind of squeeze it from the top to get it down to the bottom? I found myself having to do that with this, and throughout use, it just got a little bit inconvenient. It felt a little tight to like squeeze out the cleanser. So I ended up just folding it over, and now when I use it, I just go like this, and I squeeze it out of my hand, and I'm good to go. Once it gets like halfway done, um, it just gets harder to squeeze out like a toothpaste and you guys all know how annoying it is it, it is to get toothpaste out of your bottle not a huge deal for a lot of people but you're essentially getting this type of application because you're trying to make your life a little bit easier a little bit quicker a little bit more convenient so I just figured um, that would concern some people there are cons about this packaging as well when you are dispensing the product you kind of have to put force and like shake it out onto your hand so sometimes I'll squeeze it but then the bottle is like very sturdy so you have to put pressure when you're squeezing it I probably prefer just a regular toner because a regular toner it's liquidy it's more like water you literally just go out go like this it splashes out like water and you're good to go but with this one you have to put in a little bit more effort because of the thicker consistency again not a big issue I know but we're looking at conveniency here we're looking at like super quick want to use my skincare really fast don't want to close tops don't want to put caps back on but because of all this extra stuff you're doing it's almost similar to just screwing off a cap and screwing back on a cap another thing that is a con is the top of it sometimes residue will get on the top of the cap and because it's a more like oily consistency it allows for like dirt and debris to get on top of the cap you just have this like really nice skincare sitting on top of your counter but then the top you know has a little bit of dirt and debris because of the stuff falling onto the skunk that gets on top actually luckily don't have any cons about this one it is absolutely perfect and it is one of my favorite applicators from the entire line it's innovative in the sense that it comes with a refill you can pull this out and refill it and then another thing I absolutely love about this product is that it dispenses the right amount that you need I just learned that you only need a teaspoon of moisturizer to spread on your face and it literally looks like it's exactly a teaspoon okay so now that we've gotten into the packaging I want to talk about the products and why I enjoy them and why I don't enjoy them starting off with the cleanser I really enjoy the cleanser um, I feel like it makes my skin look more clear and I love how gentle it is I love how when you're done using it it doesn't strip your skin it doesn't make it feel dry I really really enjoy this cleanser I honestly have no complaints other than the fact that I don't think it is designed for dry skin like this cleanser to me is so good that if she redesigned the packaging and she created some for oily skin I would reconsider it I reconsider it I would consider purchasing it again however I will say I don't like that it doesn't successfully remove all makeup especially because it claims to actually remove all of your makeup it does not do that but yeah overall i do enjoy this cleanser it adds a little bit of dewiness it makes your skin look clear and if you use it at night and then you wake up the next morning 
my skin I feel like looks like it's in really good condition with this stuff now as far as the fat toner fat water toner I could see why people would love this stuff I definitely would I especially would love this if I had really dry skin and if I was looking for a glow this stuff is like the culprit for giving you glowy skin it's even orange <laughs> so if you like those two things you're absolutely gonna love this I think this is a really great product it's just not designed for me I'm not a fan of adding the extra dewiness and oiliness and if you add too much this stuff will make your skin tacky all day long I love that it is a toner and a serum in one I think that is just genius especially if you're lazy I feel like this whole skincare is like kind of designed for the quick quick fast people like want to get it done and not put in too much effort now on to the moisturizer I think this is probably one of my favorite products I recently stopped using it because like I said I'm trying to get my skin to be normal again and I feel like all of these products are contributing to oily skin I do enjoy that it comes with SPF I do enjoy the packaging and I would recommend this if you have dry skin I highly recommend this in fact if you have dry skin and again if you're if you're looking for glowy skin I highly recommend this entire line packaging especially the moisturizer is convenient in the entire line it has a, a nice scent but it's not like overbearing as far as results I'm not really sure I think the results are mostly coming from the cleanser and the fat water toner if you were to switch out anything from this line you could probably just not use the SPF the moisturizer 